Brain injuries can happen during a number of different activities and in different situations. We're here with Dr. Ben Gillespie. So let's start by talking about what is a brain injury? Well, brain injury is a disruption in normal brain function. It can be caused by um, uh, multiple different causes, falls, motor vehicle accidents, uh, domestic violence. It can be caused by a sports-related injury. And uh, the symptoms that come from that can, can vary quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of different patients here at Spectrum Health. What are the most common ways that you see brain injuries happening? Uh, well, first off, there is a large number of brain injuries in the state of Michigan. We, a lot of people don't realize that there's 58,000 traumatic brain injuries documented in the state of Michigan. Of the reported causes, there may be ones that don't get reported. Um, some of the common causes that I see in my population in my clinic and in the hospital are the motor vehicle accidents, the falls, mm -hmm. and unfortunately we also see this in the pediatric population as well. Um, a lot of the symptoms you're going to see, people will have headaches, nausea, difficulty with sleeping. They'll have changes in their mood, increased irritability. Some people have more difficulty with walking, dizziness. Um, and so that's why the full interdisciplinary approach from a, a, a rehab team, a rehab physician, can really help you kind of figure out these symptoms, talk to you, educate you about your injury, and kind of help you get on the path to recovery. Yeah. If you think you've been experiencing some of these symptoms, but you're not quite sure if it's serious enough to go see a doctor, what should you do? I would always recommend that if you feel like you've had a concussion, you've, you've had a blow to the head or the chest, mm -hmm. that can also be a cause of a, a brain injury, is go to the emergency department or see your, your family doctor. They can get you connected with the correct specialist to address any of your symptoms you may be having. Um, and then a lot of these symptoms will, will improve over time. So we'll, we can educate you on that and kind of help you through this process.